Thinking about building internal tools fast without starting from scratch? In this video, we are diving into Retool. What is it? What's new in 2025? And whether it's actually worth your time? Stick around for the pros, cons, and a quick verdict at the end. What is Retool? Retool is a low-code platform designed to help developers quickly build internal apps like dashboards, CRMs, admin panels, and more. Using drag-and-drop components, with the flexibility of custom JavaScript and SQL. It connects seamlessly with databases like PostgreSQL, APIs, and cloud services, making it super efficient for teams that need to move fast. What's new in 2025? Retool's 2025 update introduces a ton of performance upgrades and some exciting new features. Number one feature is Retool AI, now integrated directly into the build group. It helps generate queries, how to complete forms and even suggest user interface components. Retool Workflows 2.0 More robust automation with conditional logic, retries, and multi step flows. Self hosted enhancements. Better enterprise controls, including role based access and audit logs. Design mode A cleaner interface for non technical users to tweak the layout without touching code. These updates aim to bridge the gap between devs and business teams. Pros of Retool Let's talk about what makes Retool stand out. Speed, flexibility, pre-built components, strong community and support, and skill. Let's first talk about speed. You can build a full CRUD app in under an hour. Now, we talk about flexibility. You can write custom JavaScript, use APIs, and connect to nearly any data source. And for the pre-built components, you have tables, forms, charts, and more. Just drag and drop. And for the strong community and support, you have active Slack groups, solid docs, and responsive support. And when talking about scalability, it works great for startups all the way up to large enterprises. Cons of free tool. Nothing is perfect. And here are some downsides to consider in Retool. Number one, pricing. It can get expensive fast, especially for teams needing multiple editors or enterprise features. Number two, steep learning curve for non-devs. While it is low cod, some JavaScript and SQL knowledge is still essential. Customization limits, and this is con number three. User interface customization is improving, but still not as flexible as building from scratch. Who should use Retool? If you are a startup, product team, or IT department needing fast internal tools, Retool can save you a month of dev time. But if you are looking to build public facing apps or need full design control, it might not be your best option. Final verdict. So here's the bottom line. Retool in 2025 is faster, smarter and more accessible than ever. Perfect for teams who want power and speed. It is not for everyone, but if you need internal tools fast, it's hard to beat. And that's all for today's video. If you find it helpful, please don't forget to support us with like, subscribe to the channel, leave us a good comment and share this video with your friends. Thanks for watching and goodbye.